Now it should be no surprise to our listeners, but the mainstream media, bad. Also, ATF, bad. But ATF and mainstream working together, really bad. I'm Ben Sanderson, and this is the Minuteman Moment. In all seriousness, we have FOIA documents proving how bad this is. Gun Owners Foundation, GOA's sister organization, found email exchanges between reporters at USA Today and the ATF. If you remember last year, we uncovered definitive proof that ATF had a registry. Because this news was such a big deal, the media obviously needed to suppress it. After all, the only reason a government would want to register your firearm is so they have the ability to take it away later. We talked about the suppression of GOA by big tech and big media before in previous videos. But now, because of this FOIA, we know exactly what's going on behind the scenes. Allow me to pull back the curtain on a small place I like to call Clown World. Back in the olden days, hard-nosed reporters would hit the pavement to get scoops which would bring the power of the establishment to their knees. But now, instead of holding institutions and people of power accountable, they wait for corporations or the government to send them exclusive press releases. Just the smallest amount of due diligence on the part of journalists by following up and questioning the motives of their sources would revolutionize the fourth estate. But the problem is, they don't want to get to the truth. They just want to reconfirm their biases and smash dissent. The case in point with the USA Today journalist, who supposedly fact-checked us over a FOIA finding that the ATF internally admitted they maintain a registry, he made sure to ask the ATF if they had the registry. Well, obviously they told him nope, but being the tough journalist that he is, he asked a different person at the ATF if they had an illegal gun registry. Again, the government informed him that the government would never break the government's laws. After all, the government investigated the government and found the government clear of all wrongdoings. So like the NPC that he is, he published the fact check saying that GOA's claims against the ATF were wrong because the ATF said so. On top of that, Facebook and YouTube used his article to further justify censorship of our news. This provides us with a top tier example in the collaboration between big tech, the mainstream media, and the government. Now you may be thinking, surely this reporter who goes by the name of Daniel Funk is an objective reporter who takes no sides and gives the facts when reporting on issues relating to firearms. Oh, oof. Well, I'm sure they retracted that after the trial proved them wrong. Oh well, double oof. Now this issue won't just go away. Just a few days ago, LinkedIn censored posts from Aiden Johnston, the director of federal affairs here at GOA. Because our main GOA account reshared his post, our entire account has seen a reduction in traffic. GOA will not stand by as this poisonous alliance between big tech, the media, and the government grows stronger. Right now, we are pushing lawmakers on Capitol Hill into doing more investigations into this unholy alliance. Now please, call your member and ask them to push for more oversight on big tech censoring free speech. Use the number below or in the description. I'll see you guys next time.